Like you are so psyched to get out here. I am ready. Yeah, you are ready. <laughs> Comic book artist, huh? Yeah, it's kind of a dangerous profession, but somebody's got to do it. You know, a pro. What, what kinds of comic books do you work for? I do a lot of things like X-Files and Star Trek and uh, uh, Flair is one of my current ones. I'm doing something on Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson. Oh, the whole gamut then. I, so I do everything. I, uh, Superman, Batman, you, you just name it. Well, I want to make you millionaire man. I think that That's would be perfect. Right. Right. He's right. Gotta do it. You know the rules, you know the lifetimes, ready? Kind of. <laughs> okay, let's play. <laughs> From 1775 to 1783, the American Revolution is also often known as the American War of what? Chivalry? Independence? Fortitude? Silly hats? <laughs> I would say it's the War of Independence. Final answer? Am I saying it right? Final answer. With a little more conviction. Final answer. You have it right for $100. <laughs> <laughs> In a tradition dating back to medieval times, what bridal garment is tossed to bachelors at a wedding? Veil, garter, shoe, glove. Uh, garter, final answer? Sure. Okay. <laughs> the hospital, a patient is normally placed in traction in order to do what? Lower blood pressure, improve circulation, facilitate breathing, align broken bones. Okay. Align broken bones. Final answer. Yeah! <laughs> Going for 500, Gordon. <laughs> which of these animals has powerful tusks, which are often used for fighting during mating season? Wild boar, giraffe, buffalo, hyena. Go with uh, wild, uh, very wild boar. Final answer. <laughs> yeah, you have it. For a thousand, Gordon. What is the singular form of the word alumni? Alumnix, alumnoid, alumnum, alumnus. I'll say alumnus, D, final answer. And I'll say $1,000, Gordon, for We are back with Gordon Purcell, a comic book artist from Plymouth, Minnesota. And I know we said before that you have on some of the most famous characters, oh, Superman, Batman, Batman. Star Trek series. My favorite one, a special for the show, Mega Meredith. Mega Meredith. Yes. Yes. The only woman in the comics. There she is. Gordon, I know you used your imagination when you drew those breasts, baby, because oh. I am... This ain't them. Well, come on. But I love you for it. Exactly. <laughs> I'd like to make your dreams come true, oh, yeah. all right? So let's get cracking here. You're going for 2000 You're 10 okay. away from a million dollars. And the best news of all, you have all your lifelines staring right back at you. You're in great shape. Are you ready to play? I <laughs> Let's play. <laughs> For $2,000, Gordon, recently listed by Forbes as the world's highest paid female athlete, Maria Sharapova is a star in what sport? Tennis, golf, soccer, basketball. Tennis, final answer. You are nine questions away from $1 million. <laughs> That's all the Russian, I guess. <laughs> Going for $4,000. Instead of cursing, Peanuts character Charlie Brown commonly used which of these harmless expletives? Worms, rats, lizards, bugs. Honestly, uh, with this round noggin of mine, I played Charlie Brown in a college musical of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, 
you know, that you have to imagine less hair <laughs> and shorts. But um, it's so what a, did you say? Rats. <laughs> Final answer. Yeah, <laughs> you have it. Going for eight thousand dollars, Gordon. The title of the 2004 self-help bestseller offers single women the no-nonsense advice. He's just not what? That cute? You're tight? That into you? Marriage material? He's just not that into you. Final answer. Yes, yes, yes you have a You want to do a little dancing? Go ahead. You feel free anytime, Gordon. Dance away, millionaire man. Wow. Going for 16000 When measuring liquid volumes, a gallon is equal to about how many liters? 1.6, 2.2, 3.1, 3 3.8. I'm an idiot here. <laughs> know that the audience is going to be far better at this question than me. All so righty then. The Absolutely. Audience, Gordon needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Forty-one percent say it's 3.8. Twenty-five percent say 2.2 .2 and 17 each for 3.1 and 1.6. It's not a great number. So you didn't have any idea, no. I don't use a gallon of ink, you know, at a time, so. Uh, Remind you again, you're we'll, we'll take the 50-50. Okay. Okay. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Okay. Oh, it's, so it's still there. It's still there. 3.8, final answer. They're right. You've got it. <laughs> If you'd like to be a part of our studio audience, just log on to our website. Audience members are welcome to take the audition test. Now more than ever, come be a part of Millionaire. We are back with Gordon for Stella. We're going for this Capital One check worth $25,000. mentioned before, Gordon, that you were a comic book artist. Yep. You draw a lot of famous characters. Oh, Superman, yes. Batman, Star Trek series on and on. Right. But what the audience probably doesn't know is that if you look in these comic books, you often draw yourself in the background, right? Sometimes you, you need some inspiration in different body types. They can't all look like superheroes. <laughs> 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 but are you sort of the, uh, the Where's Waldo of the right. comic Sometimes book genre? Right. Sometimes you can do that. And yeah. it's kind of fun that uh, I'm actually in scenes with Picard or you know, Kirk or whoever I want to be in. So, and sometimes I draw my wife in, too. Which is very nice. Yes. And your wife is with you today? Yes, she's my companion. Nice well, to, to see you. Hi. Deborah. That's Deborah. And I've got to tell you, Gordon, you are on center stage here at Millionaire. The focus is on you. Forget about Superman and Batman. They're nothing here. It's oh. all about Gordon Purcell. You're going for $25,000. You have one lifeline left, and if you get the $25,000, you'll get the fourth lifeline. You ready to play? Yes. Okay, then let's play. <laughs> For $25,000, a June 2005 Time Magazine report revealed that Guantanamo Bay officials had used whose music as an interrogation aid? Christina Aguilera, <laughs> Clay Aiken, Mariah Carey, Will Smith. Logically, one of the women would be more offensive, right? Uh, yeah, because I, I can't imagine, well, Clay Aiken. Who does he is that? Come on. And Will Smith, come on. He's the Fresh Prince. <laughs> Christina Aguilera. <laughs> She's naughty. <laughs> So I'm going to gamble and and say uh, Christina Agro. I can't even say her name. Aguilera. Final answer. What did you call her before? You said she was kind of naughty.
coffee? She's kind of not. Well, she's very nice to you. <laughs> It's a wrap for us today. I know I'm bummed, but tune in tomorrow and see if Gordon can capture our million dollar prize. Fingers crossed until the New York. Closed captioning sponsored by.